Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to Fox Hill Outdoors. My name is Jeff. So before we get this video started, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy the video or you find it helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're a growing channel. We're getting bigger every day. So thank you guys so much. Let's get into the video. Thank you for subbing. It sounds up. Okay, so as you guys saw from the title, today's video is going to be a turkey choke tube comparison. We're going to be comparing the Rob Roberts 660 to the True Glow Gobble Stopper. This one is ported. The Rob Roberts is non ported, as you guys can clearly see. The shells we're going to be using Winchester Longbeard XRs, 3 inch number 5 shot. So, the gun I'm going to be doing this test out of today is my Remington 1187. I uh, just freshly got this hydro dipped in the Mossy Oak Bottomland. It looks sweet. Got an oversized charging handle and then the Bushnell AR-15 red dot. So if you guys didn't see the previous two choke tube comparison videos that I've done, they've received thousands of views and I've received hundreds of comments, suggestions from you guys, the viewers. So I've taken a few of those into consideration. Number one, we're using the table. Usually I, when I hunt turkeys, I'm hunting turkeys on the ground. I'm not in a blind. I'm using my knee as a gun rest. But for comparison's sake and consistency, going to be using the table. Obviously going to be using the shooting rest as well. That way we get consistency between shots. Less human error equals a better test for you guys. And another suggestion that was brought to me by the viewers was they weren't super thrilled that the, the turkey choke tubes weren't the exact same constriction. The True Glow Gobble Stopper is .660. And then the Rob Roberts final strut is also .660. So this is going to be an even test, guys. All right, folks. Shot number one is going to be with the Rob Roberts final strut. We're shooting at 30 yards. I've got three different cameras rolling here. So hopefully we get some good footage for you guys. All right, folks, so now we have the True Glow Gobble Stopper attached. 30 yards, Winchester Longbeard, number five, three inch. Okay, guys, so for test number two, gonna be shooting at 50 yards. Uh, the idea behind that cardboard is to kind of show the whole pattern, but as you guys can tell, it's a, a breezy day and my cardboard's not wanting to stay put. So it's gonna help a little, but not a whole lot. I ran out of the turkey targets. And that's why I'm using those 10 inch circle targets. It'll still give you a good idea. If, if the circle is your aim point at 50 yards, you'll get to see kind of how many pellets are inside of that circle. All right, so let's hop into it. For shot number one at 50 yards, it's gonna be the Rob Roberts final strut. Okay, so shot two at 50 yards is with the True Glow Gobble Stopper. On this one, as you guys can see right now, I actually got the cardboard to sit still. So it won't be fair to compare the cardboard patterns because of Rob Roberts, it would not hold still and it was folded back. All right, guys, so that'll conclude the shooting part. I'm going to take you guys inside. That way we can count number of pellets on target in the kill area. So I'll see you there. All right, folks, so I just got done counting the targets at 30 yards, and the difference is incredible, okay? So, remember, I'm using a rest on all of these shots. They were consistent, same range. Uh, the only difference is the chokes. Same shells, same range, same rest, same shooter. 
Everything's the exact same, but the chokes. And this is the True Glow Gobble Stopper at 30 yards. You can see that the pattern is slightly to the right of the bird. And in the kill area, so I count from where this, on this particular target, from where that spine is, I draw a straight line basically across. So I counted all these down here. So from there up, anything inside of this head and neck area, I count. So I counted 45 pellets on target with the True Glow Gobble Stopper at 30 yards. This is the target after the Rob Roberts turkey choke tube, the final strut, 30 yards. That pattern is very, very even, middle of the target. I counted to 100 and I stopped. So from the same point, from that spine, straight across and then straight up. And that's just in the kill area. That's not counting all these pellets outside of the turkey. Just in the kill area of this bird at 30 yards, 100 plus pellets. I stopped at 100. Big difference between the Rob Roberts and the True Glow. Rob Roberts, True Glow. Huge difference. Okay, so the targets at 50 yards, again, I was using a much smaller target, and I had a bigger backdrop. Uh, I was out of the, the big turkey targets. I probably should have used the, the smaller targets here at 30 yards and then used the big turkeys at 50, but what's done is done. If you guys didn't like the way I did that, just let me know in the comment section, and I'll try and fix it for next time, or I'll just make sure that I have enough turkey targets to do the test consistently. So at 50 yards, the comparison was almost identical. The True Glow Gobble Stopper at 50 yards, there's 36 pellets inside of this 10-inch circle. 36 pellets. With the Rob Roberts at the same range, there was 35. One difference between the two different chokes. So at, at ranges of 50 yards, you know, they're very comparable. But at closer range, the difference is undeniable. The Rob Roberts choke wins. So if you guys want to get your hands on one of these Rob Roberts turkey choke tubes, make sure you check out the top link in the description of this video. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys want me to do more turkey choke tube comparisons, make sure you let me know in the comment section. I read and respond to almost every single comment, whether it's, it's hate, hateful comments or positive comments. I try and be positive and respond to the community that's reaching out to me. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys have video ideas for me, just let me know in the comment section. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and hit, hit that thumbs down. It doesn't bother me. So thank you guys. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys have a good one.